Hello and welcome to my review of the Jeans Dealer Colts Atalan Jackals. Now this box set will cost you £32.50 and I think it is incredible value. I had a lot of fun uh, making these models. We'll go through each of them individually and then I will show you some size comparisons and we'll end up with all of the rules for them from the 8th edition Jeans Dealer Colts Codex. So let's start off with the Atalan Leader. This one right here, um, awesome, awesome looking models. I love motorbikes, clearly. Um, and I'm a big fan of these dirt bikes. Yes, I hope that Imperial Guard gets some kind of scout riders or uh, something like that, um, because the detail on these bikes are awesome. Uh, I love the, the tires, the forks, uh, the chains even, they do have chains, uh, the engines, um, the headlamps, the little um, display as well. A lot of skill um, for this uh, rider to be pulling off a um, wheelie one-handed and holding an axe. Um, personally, I'd rather use the old clutch control, but um, it must have an awful lot of power if uh, he's been able to just power wheelie it. <laughs> Um, also, he's a bit laden down. Uh, I've managed to glue some extra parts on there. I think there's a grappling hook, some rope. Um, also, I've just strapped a bomb to his pannier as well. Uh, but yeah, really cool looking models. I like this, um, I think it's a power um, axe, I think, or, well, we'll go through the rules in a moment. Anyway, this leader is awesome. Then I just decided to have a shotgun spree. Um, put some more, uh, Items, I think this is uh, some kind of like remote detonator and uh, a gas canister there and a fuel tank um, with a sheet. So this guy's got all of the uh, explosives, um, funky looking headlamp there. Uh, and he's got a sawn off shotgun, which I did drill the holes in. Um, good luck if you can drill two separate holes that close together. I wish you all the best, but it might just be worth you ignoring that and just painting on the holes. Uh, but it's up to you. I tried. Anyway, that's that biker. Then this guy uh, also has got some kind of combat shotgun, I think you'd probably... I think you'd probably call it. Um, and then I've put a massive uh, chest of explosives and a and just did a cult knife on the on the side pannier there, and then uh, a power pick it looks like with a with a spade um, and a little hammer, mini hammer I think that is in there. Um, yeah, this guy's just looking down that combat shotgun. Um, really really cool um, poses for these models, and then this guy. Thump, that's the noise it kind of makes when he, he's firing this uh, grenade um, launcher. If you haven't already seen Terminator 2, uh, that will make you fall in love with grenade launchers. Um, he's got a few uh, grenades on the back. He's pulling a little bit of a tank slapper there with the old uh, back wheel. Um, also, um, for close encounters, I've packed him with a combat shotgun. And then the other side, I think that's a load of dynamite, so it could be flare. And he's also got a proper... Um, BMW approved pannier there. <laughs> anyway, that's the, the grenade launcher guy. Really, really cool. And then the piece de la resistance is this um, Atalan Wolf Quad. It's a quad bike, guys, basically. Um, I've put this guy with this mining laser, which is just overkill. It's so cool. Um, this model was fun to um, build. I've also given him a spaceman kind of uh, sun visor, and uh, he's going to launch this... Uh, stick of uh, dynamite this tnt looks awesome i really like the quad bike i love the attention to detail yes there are a few mold lines in places but the wheels aren't as bad as the ridge runner um there are mold lines on the um brakes and the uh, brakes and the clutches uh of all of these um vehicles um it's a shame that this quad bike isn't an automatic in a way uh because he's got his um, fingers on the clutch there, um, not necessarily needed. That's the brake there. He's going to be changing gear, but uh, it doesn't look like there's any kind of 
gear changing. I've just been really, really nitpicking um, on this model, but uh, but there you go. Uh, if you've ridden a quad bike before, you, you'll probably understand where I'm coming from. Anyway, really cool looking mob, uh, quad bike. Um, I would definitely buy another set of these. Um, and this is one of the reasons why Games Workshop price their character models um, higher, because I'll only ever buy one of these Jackal uh, Alphases, but I'll buy a couple more sets of these Atalan Jackals, and that's what it boils down to, guys, in terms of why they price and the characters more. I mean, this, this Jackal Alphas is, what, £22.50, so £10 less than this whole squad. Um, I mean, yeah, if you want to kind of uh, convert one of these uh, to be a Jackal Alphas, you know, find a sniper rifle from somewhere and try and, you know, convert them. Uh, even stick a sniper rifle on the back, on, you know, on the pannier or something. Hey, that works for me. Save yourself a bit of mo money. But the thing is, I really like this model and, and I think she works in really well with the rest of the um, bikers. One thing I will say about the models, though, is you can customise them. A bit what I mean by that is there's no reason for you not to uh, have this guy with a with a shotgun um, you know they they do have plugs and sockets the back wheels uh, the front wheels are well that wheels falling off I need to glue that quickly <laughs> but um, what I mean by that is uh, you can mix and match these back wheels with the bikes um, that's fine so you can have uh, all of them on the ground if you wish. If you cut the peg off that one I suppose you could um, glue the front wheel down and likewise with these because of the way the the wheel attaches to the rest of the bike um, you can actually cut out the the plug and just glue that back wheel any way you want so you could have them all put in a little wheelie if you if you so wish that, that would be fine. Before I go I just wanted to break down the spare parts that you get with the Atalan Jackals because I completely forgot to do it while I was going through the review I just got so carried away by how awesome the models are you know how it goes. Anyway for the quad bike here's the heavy stubber looks like a, a browning a machine gun absolutely awesome um, it's not that good in, in game terms. Much better to have the mining laser um, or even the uh, incinerator. This big, big flamer. Uh, again, this weapon looks awesome too. Um, but there you go. They're the two weapons that you can have on there. Um, would have been nice to have some kind of big flamer, you know, like you can on the Goliath, I think it is, uh, on the Ridge Runner. But there we go. Anyway, you've got the ammunition you know the magazine there for the um heavy stubber uh you've also got this um that can go along there i i would have thought that that goes on um you know the the quad bike uh to go with the heavy stubber and this the the fuel um canisters to go with the incinerator um that's it for the uh quad bike spare parts you also get if you use all the heads you get four um heads so this guy this groovy guy with the Shades, that's pretty good. And I've just lost him. Oh, I found him. I found him again. Um, then you get this. I think that's a female. Who who knows? Who knows? But anyway, get this person with a with goggles, and this one with some pitch black kind of goggles, uh, and this guy, definitely a guy. This one um, with some kind of bondage uh, eyewear. <laughs> Anyway, um, so you get an extra four heads, which you could use on your other Genius Dealer Cult models for sure. Um, then you get the alternate weapons for the um, leader, which is the bolt pistol. Looks massive, doesn't it, in, in the little hands. And then the uh, stub gun, I think it is, or stubber. That looks pretty cool, like an assault rifle. That's quite familiar looking, right? Um, then you get like a, a power weapon, improvised weapon, um, also you've got a auto pistol, it's pretty good, I like the long magazine there, another auto pistol, I like this one with the, whatever that is, muzzle and the re recoil down, it looks like a, like a Uzi doesn't it, with this, with the uh, bar, maybe you, you can unfold that out and have a foldable stock, I think it is, uh, and then you've got a power pick, and also an arm with a demolition charge about to 
hurl that or slap it on the side of a tank. So a fair amount of extra parts, I think you'll agree. Um, that's why it's great to have you know two of these kits because then you can mix and match and have different heads. You know, you, you're going to have all of those um, four bikers at least with different heads. And you know, if you use one of the heads in the quad bike. Uh, again, even more reason to have a bit of variety. Um, so the next time you can equip them with some um, more melee weapons instead of the range weapons like the shotguns that I've done. Um, so you do have a fair bit of choice in this uh, kit. Lost in my excitement again, um, you actually get a few more parts. Um, look, so you get a couple more heads. Um, so this one with, uh, with some more goggles and this one with this kind of bandana. Yeah, hopefully you could see them. I did try and zoom in a bit. There you go. Uh, and then you get uh, the crowbar. That's just an improvised weapon. That's pretty cool. Um, and then a, a wrench, adjustable wrench, I think that is. Uh, another auto pistol. And then another auto pistol with this uh, round magazine, this drum magazine. Um, so there you go. So. As you can see, yeah, a fair few parts there um, for this kit. Um, so even more value, as well as providing those four bikers and a quad bike. They could have sold the quad bike separately, I'm sure. Um, they could have sold two in a kit, uh, but they didn't. They put the quad bike in with four dirt bikes, which is brilliant. So now I'll just show you some size comparisons. And so there they are compared to the Jackal Alphas. As you can see, they go really, really well with a let me show you some more size comparisons though. So here's the Magus, very tall model. Um, let's just move the Alphas out of the way. Um, the Magus is like almost as tall as these guys on the bikes. So quite a tall model. And then the Ridge Runner, just to you know show you some size comparisons too. Uh, you can see there that the Ridge Runner is you know a fair bit bigger um, than each of these bikes and comparing it to the um, quad bike again fair fair bit bigger it's actually bigger than I thought it would be um, the Ridge Runner which is great next to some Imperial models then so uh, normal Space Marine uh, if you compare the quad bikes and the bikers yeah Space Marine's a fair bit bigger that looks quite feasible and compared to the uh, quad bike and then an Intercessor as you can see, Intercessor is far, far bigger. Intercessor has so much more bulk um, compared to these. Um, and could probably knock these off um, very easily, especially with their bolt rifles. Okay, now we're into my part of the review where I will go through all of the rules uh, for the Atalan Jackals. You'll find them in your brand new 8th edition Genes Dealer Cults Codex under Fast Attack. They're a power points cost of a 3 and a points cost of 10 per model. The wolf quads are 15. So what you've got there is 40 points plus the quad, which is 55 points um, for the squad. Then you're gonna have to buy all of those weapons. Shotguns are free, auto pistols are free, the heavy stubber and the mining laser you will have to pay for. Improvised weapons are free. Power picks you're gonna have to pay nine points for. And the blasting charges are free too. So I'll just go through the unit composition. Unit contains one Atalan leader and three Atalan jackals. So like my squad there. It can include four additional Atalan jackals, power rating of plus three, or eight additional Atalan jackals, power rating plus six. For every four Atalan jackals and or Atalan leaders in the unit, it can include one Atalan wolf quad for a power rating of plus two per model. Each model is armed with an auto pistol and blasting charges. Each Atalan wolf quad is also equipped with a heavy stubber. So there you go, you've got your typical Atalan leader and three Atalan jackals, and I've also put in a wolf quad. So we've got the full deck there. Now, let me go through the stat line. So they've all got a movement of 14 inches. Um, the Atalan Jackal has a weapon skill of four plus, ballistic skill four plus, strength three, toughness four, two wounds, one attack, leadership seven, and a save of five plus. So they don't have the best save. They do have two wounds and the toughness is four, not too bad. The leader has exactly the same stat line, except the leader gets two attacks instead of one, and the leadership is eight. You'd expect that. And the Wolf Quad, still got the same toughness as four, which I find hard to believe, um, but it does have four wounds instead of two, and the rest is the same. 
So I would have liked a toughness five maybe, but you know, it's reflected by it's got, you know, four wounds. Now, the weapons. It's difficult to explain the weapons without explaining the war gear options. So let me do that first. The war gear options, the Atalan leader and each Atalan jackal must take two weapons from the Atalan weapons list. The same model cannot take the same weapon twice. Only one in every four of these models can take a grenade launcher and only the Atalan leader can take an auto gun, bolt pistol or power axe. He's got the power axe. Any Atalan wolf quad can take one of the following. Auto pistol, shotgun, improvised weapon or power pick and any Atalan wolf quad can replace its heavy stubber with a mining laser or Atalan incinerator. So you've got three weapon options for that wolf quad, the same as the Ridge Runner. Well, same weapon options that is. Let me go through the weapons. So the Atalan incinerator is a 12 inch range, heavy D6, strength 5, AP minus 1, damage 1. It automatically hits the target. So it's basically a heavy flamer. Um, you know, with a 12 inch range, you've got an effective range of 26 inches there. Auto pistols, uh, just normal, a 12 inch range, pistol 1, strength 3, AP 0 and a damage of 1. Heavy stubber is a 36 inch range, heavy 3, strength 4, AP 0 and damage 1. So same as on the Ridge Runner. A mining laser is not a heavy mining laser, it's just a mining laser, not like the heavy one on the Ridge Runner. So this mining laser is a 24 inch range, heavy one, strength 9, AP minus 3 and a damage of D6. So the only difference between that and the heavy mining laser is it only gets one shot, whereas the heavy one gets D3 and its range is 24 inches instead of 36. Still got an effective range of 38 inches, still not too bad. Shotgun is a range of 12 inches, assault 2, strength 3, AP 0 and a damage of 1. And if the target is within half range though, add 1 to the weapon strength. So I've got two guys there with shotguns, that strength becomes 4 at 6 inch range. Improvised weapon is a strength of the user, AP 0, damage 1. And then a power pick is a strength of the user, but it's AP minus 2 and a damage of D3. And each time a model with a rending claw makes an attack with this weapon, it can make one additional attack with its rending claw. I think they've just copied and pasted that from the other units because this model doesn't have a rending claw. And then finally, the blasting charge is a range of six inches, grenade D6, strength three, AP zero, and a damage of one. Abilities, not many going on here. They've just got cult ambush, unquestioned loyalty, skilled outriders. Now skilled outriders, means that you can subtract one from hit rolls for attacks that target this unit in the shooting phase. That's brilliant and they're going to need it. Yes they've got toughness four um, but their saves are only five pluses and um, but they do get two wounds. Um, so it is nice that you you know space means you know hitting on three pluses they now have to hit on um, four pluses. Keywords Tyranids, Gene Stealer Cults, Biker and Atalan Jackals. So that is all of their rules. They work very very well with uh, a Ridge Runner. You know if you have this Ridge Runner in there somewhere with them um, bobbing along and you have it equipped with a flare launcher then that means your bikers um, can advance six inches and no dice rolls are necessary for that. If you also have your Jackal Alphys in there. She has a skilled outrider. She has five wounds. She has a much better ballistic skill of two plus. She can keep up obviously because of movement 14 inches, um, but also she has that priority target sighted, which means that as long as um, the bikers or, or any cult um, units are within six inches, any cult units um, that hit, uh, that target an enemy unit whilst they're within six inches of the Jackal Alphys, add one to hit rolls, but 12 inches if they're friendly cult biker units. Um, but you can only use that uh, once per phase. So that's pretty good. So if she's within six inches of, uh, you know, the Ridge Runner, then you can use that uh, heavy mining laser to full effect. Um, if she's within um, the 12 inches of the biker unit, then you add one for the uh, hit rolls for attacks from them, um, which could come in handy uh, with their ballistic skill of four plus, uh, especially with that grenade launcher. The one thing it's missing is the grenade launcher uh, weapon profile in the Atalan Jackals uh, list. You have to look all the way in the back of the book for that. And it is uh, listed there as a points value of three. And it's weapon profile, it has two different types. It's a 24 inch range. You got frag grenade or crack grenade. So it's just like, it's just a 24 inch um, grenade basically, as the name suggests it being a grenade launcher. So you've got a frag grenade of assault D6, strength three AP zero, damage one, or a crack grenade 24 inches again, assault one, but strength six, 
AP minus one, but this time a damage D3. So it's worth having that in there um, for the extra uh, wounds. Anyway, what do you guys think of the Atalan Jackals? I think they're really, really cool models. As a biker, I fell in love with them the moment I saw them. I I've always wanted more and more motorbikes and things in this hobby in Warhammer 40,000. The Space Marine bikes and the Scout bikers never really did it for me as much. They're big, they're thick, they don't really work. I like the jet bikes, you know, I like the um, custodian jet bikes, both types. But to have these off-road uh, Africa twins, <laughs> to have these uh, off-road dirt bikes is actually a dream come true. I really love the models and I'm so passionate um, about them. But what do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching for the Norn Queen.